David Baxter. I'm Amy Hawkins. And welcome to Cabarrus this week. And this week we're at the Concord Museum. They got a brand new exhibit here. Going to tell you all about that. Got a lot of other things to talk about. So grab that pen and paper so you can jot that contact info down. If you miss something, don't worry about it. We'll give you an email address and a web address at the end of the show. Well, as David said, we are at the Concord Museum in downtown Concord. Um, great space here. Uh, small little theater that has um, rotating exhibits. And its newest exhibit is right. on the old courthouse theater, um, which is celebrating 35 years. So it's 35 years of the old courthouse theater um, exhibit, which just opened this week. Now, the old courthouse theater was founded with the help of the late Mary Sneed Boger when the historic courthouse in Concord was set for demolition in 1975. Mrs. Boger, who was looking for theater space, joined with Historic Cabarrus Incorporated in an effort to save the courthouse and was granted the use of the second floor courtroom for the theater. And it was in 1976 that the old courthouse theater was born. Now, this exhibit celebrates nearly four decades of community theater in Concord. Visitors will get a behind-the-scenes look at what it takes to put on a theatrical show with everything from locally made costumes, from favorite shows like Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat, as well as Return to Forbidden Planet, uh, which has some really <laughs> cool... Um, costumes, um, as well as lots of props, playbills, and photographs from 40 years of theater um, right here in Cabarrus County. You also can view a special memorial in honor of Mary Sneed Boger, who passed away in May. Family members graciously donated two personal items that she was known for, her mink stole and sequin purse, and there are a lot of other uh, memorabilia of uh, Mrs. Boger as well. Now, the Concord Museum is located at 11 Union Street South in Suite 104 in downtown Concord. Hours are 11 a.m. until 3 p.m. Tuesdays through Saturdays. Admission is free and group tours can be arranged by appointment. For more information on the Concord Museum exhibit, 35 years of the old courthouse theater, just call the Concord Museum at 704-782-3688 or visit historiccabarras.org. No, it's a whole lot of fun. You come here and you see those photographs. They've got some really cool photos yeah. and the costumes, you know, especially the dream coat. That's really <laughs> cool looking. It's very fun. Now, the renovations at the Cabarrus County Public Library are now complete and is open for business. Okay, now the renovation projects were funded solely by the private donations from Miriam Cannon Hayes and the estate of Miriam Cannon Hayes and also other private funding sources. Now, what it does is it allows a library to accommodate new technology, a change in kind of library services, mm -hmm. and also a much better utilization of the space, which is really cool. Now, a ribbon cutting ceremony will be held at 9 a.m. on Saturday, June 18th. For more information about the Cabarrus County Public Library, Concord, located at 27 Union Street North in Concord, just call 704-920-2050 or visit cabarruscounty.us slash library. Or if you just want to go to their Facebook page, that's at facebook.com slash Cabarrus County Library. Very good. Very good. Well, come on down to the Cabarrus County Senior Center of Concord for its 20th anniversary celebration. That's um, that is going to be on Friday, June 17th. All the senior centers throughout the local area provide recreational, educational, and wellness activities and client services and outreach for older adults and adults with disabilities and their families. Now, Cabarrus County has two senior center locations, one in Concord and one in Mount Pleasant, as well as um, a lot of Lunch Plus right. Club sites um, all in every town throughout Cabarrus County. So there's, there's a place for you no matter where you right. live. Um, the Concord and Mount Pleasant senior centers are places where um, folks can meet to um, play games, um, eat meals together, right. um, learn all kinds of new skills from computer classes to crafts. Um, there's uh, billiard line tables. Dance. There's all oh, your yeah, nice billiards. There's <laughs> line dancing. There's um, lots of exercise classes right. um, and tons of really great information and resources for right. folks who are wanting to um, continue to live at home as long as they possibly can right. and, and support for family members of older adults as well. So many wonderful things um, at our Cabarrus County Senior Centers. Now the Cabarrus County Senior Center Concord um, 
is having its uh, 20th anniversary celebration um, all day long on Friday, June 17th. So you can just stop by for door prizes and fun all throughout the day. And then at 3 p.m. on Friday, June 17th, there will be a short ceremony dedicating the park behind the Senior Center. And um, some folks may not realize there's this beautiful walking trail oh, really um, and nice. park-like property right behind the Senior Center there um, off Corbin Avenue and Concord. And there's some new shuffleboard courts uh, there as well. Now, for more information about the 20th anniversary celebration, which is going to be held on Friday, June 17th at the Cabarrus County Senior Center in Concord, that is located at 331 Corbin Avenue in Concord, just call the Senior Center at 704-920-3484 or visit cabarruscounty.us slash ag. Now, during the summer, why not kind of keep your reading skills up to snuff and sharp and uh, by participating in the Cabarrus County Public Library Summer Reading Program. And this is not only just for children and teens, but it's also for adults. Mm -hmm. And guess what? You can get prizes. Just for reading. Just for Isn't reading. Cool? Wow, I'll tell you it. what. Now, the theme of the Summer Reading Program for Children is One World, Many Stories. Love that. Uh, there are many programs and entertainment planned for children ages 3 through 12 and um, at all four libraries. Now, for teens, the theme of the summer reading program is You Are Here, and rising sixth graders on up can join and also get prizes, and you can fill out your reading records there. Now, other programs include book discussions, uh, Wii gaming, and that'd be kind of fun, uh, craft projects, and a whole lot more. Now, the theme for the summer reading program for adults is novel destinations. Mm. So, I guess we're going to be traveling a lot of places here. <laughs> Now, adults can read and also earn a prize. So, hey, adults, you're not left out. For more information about the Cabarrus County Public Library Summer Reading Program, just visit cabarruscounty.us slash library. Now, um, great time of year. Love summertime in yes. Cabarrus County. Um, and, you know, around here these days, you might just want to keep a blanket and a lawn chair just in the trunk of your car. <laughs> because go. no matter what you do, there's going to be an outdoor concert right. Uh, right there for the taking. So um, there is a wonderful opportunity uh, for you to enjoy yet another um, free outdoor concert. Um, Union Street Live in Concord will present the band Too Much Sylvia on Thursday, June 16th. Union Street Live is a free outdoor summer concert series that is held the third Thursday of every month, now through September, and it is held on the lawn of the Historic Courthouse at 65 Union Street in downtown Concord. For more information about Union Street Live on June 16th from 6 until 9 p.m. on the Historic Courthouse lawn, just call Concord Downtown Development Corporation at 704-784-4208 or visit concorddowntown.com. And uh, not to worry if you can't make Union Street Live, as you should, but if you can't, then you can always check out the Summer Concert Series at Village Park in Kannapolis, and that's free also concert. And that's on Saturday, June the 18th. Now, on that night, it's Blues Night, mm -hmm. or Blues Night. I don't know if the Blues Brothers are going to show up. No, I don't know about that. But anyway, uh, the, the bands are the Sky Dog Woody Project. Give them an A-plus for that name and the part-time blues band. Now, the show begins at 7 p.m. For more information about the Summer Concert Series on Saturday, June 18th at 7 p.m. in Village Park, located along A and C Streets and the North Loop Road in Kannapolis, just call 704-920-4343 or visit cityofkannapolis.com. Well, it's not too late to um, get your kids active for the summer. If uh, you're looking for some summer camp opportunities for your kids um, to maybe help um, teach or um, enhance some of their sports skills, there are athletic camps available at Franklin's Park throughout the summer. Each camp is a week long and uh, lots of different um, uh, sports, sports available. Right, yeah. um, there's a variety of sports camps, including baseball, softball, tennis, soccer, and there's even an all-sport camp, which is for children ages 5 through 12 years old, which is going to teach them um, some basic skills in a lot of the different sports. Oh, that's really so, cool. uh, maybe they can, uh, you know, pick up a new sport right. or um, learn learn a, learn to love something new. Now, all these camps will operate from 9 a.m. until noon. Um, they are coached by area high school or college coaches and players. Drop-off is at 8:45 with pickup at noon. Supervision is not provided. Um, 
before or after those times. Now, cost is $50 per child for the week of camp. Participants will need to provide their own ball glove, tennis racket, or socket ball, um, depending on what camp they right, sign up for. Yep. Um, you'll also need to provide your own uh, sunscreen, of course, water bottle, and any appropriate uh, active wear and shoes. Now, registration for the camps will close at 5 p.m. the Wednesday prior to the beginning of each camp. So, for a full list of all the athletic camps going on now through August at Franklin's Park, um, just log on to slash parks um, for more information about the summer athletic camps. You also can call the park office at 704-920-2702. Now, Amy, did you know that the what the average lifespan of an adult butterfly is? It can't be too long, I wouldn't think. It's two weeks. Really? Yeah, you got wow. a lot of living to do in two ah. weeks, huh? You know. <laughs> now, but the monarch butterfly. Now that you know that one that flies to Mexico and California. <laughs> I don't. They like to vacation there, I guess. I don't know. They can live up to six months, so they can. You know, they got, no, they got a little a long, bit longer. It takes a while to get to Mexico <laughs> if you, with small little wings. Like yeah, that. I guess that must be that must be why. Okay, now you can learn this and a whole lot more. Maybe we just spoiled it for everybody but anyway no um you can learn this and a whole lot more at frank list park fun with butterflies it's a free workshop on saturday june the 25th and you also can learn about uh which flowers attract butterflies because there are certain bush bushes that they and that's really cool because mm -hmm. if you get those plants in your yard it's like all these butterflies everywhere and what butterflies like to eat and kind of learn their role in nature besides just being pretty. Now, the workshop is free and open to all ages. Uh, Pre-registration is needed by Thursday, June the 23rd. Register online for Fun with Butterflies at cabarruscounty.us slash reserve partner. Type in the word butterflies in the class search box for more information on Fun with Butterflies held on Saturday, June 25th, 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. at Franklis Park. Just call 704-920-2702 or visit cabarruscounty.us slash parks and come Enjoy the butterflies. Well, older adults um, that have a hankering for the beach, um, get your sunscreen <laughs> and come better. on out to Cabarrus County Senior Center because there is going to be a beach party complete with dancing to the music provided by um, Twilight, door prizes, and lots of games. For more information and to reserve your spot for the beach party, which is going to be held on Wednesday, June 22nd, from 9.30 a.m. until 1.30 p.m., at the Cabarrus County Senior Center in Concord, that's on Corbin Avenue. Just call the Senior Center at 704-920-3484 or visit cabarruscounty.us slash aging. Now, if you ever wanted to kind of know what goes on behind the scenes and kind of discover what happens when you're, you know, during takeoff on a commercial airline, uh, during, there's a free program. Okay, it's titled Clear for Takeoff, and that's Monday, June the 20th at the Harrisburg branch of the Cabarrus County Public Library. Now, climb aboard a U.S. Airways Airbus, a 320 uh, jet aircraft, for a virtual flight from Charlotte to Frankfurt, Germany. That would be kind of cool, wouldn't it? Uh, and that's presented by Discovery Place. You'll be able to see and touch the science, the technology, the engineering, and uh, the math and of modern day air transportation making it possible. Now the program is open to rising 6th through 12th graders. Darn. I, was, I wanted to go to this. <laughs> and registration is required. Now for more information about Cleared for Takeoff on Monday, June the 20th, 4 p.m. at the Harrisburg branch of the Cabarrus County Public Library. It's at 201 Sims Parkway. Just call 704-920-2080 or visit cabarruscounty.us slash library. Well, there are tons of um, nature activities always available at North Cabarrus Park. Um, a beautiful, beautiful park out there um, where you can just really immerse yourself in nature. But if you really want to get down into nature, you might want to come out <laughs> on uh, Saturday, <laughs> June 25th for the Swamp Loggers Workshop. Now this is gonna be a lot of fun. <laughs> You're gonna get to learn uh, more about the park's vernal ponds and how they play a huge role in the ecosystem and environment. Now, um, a vernal pond, in case you didn't know that. I, I didn't know. Uh, it's a temporary pool of water. Uh. And they're called vernal ponds or pools because they are often, but not necessarily, at their peak depth in the spring. 
And despite being dry at times, once filled, they are just teeming with life. So, um, so it's it, not just a have, mud hole. That's right. <laughs> you, may, you may have seen you know, little organisms kind of floating in these little bodies of water. So you can all learn right. all about that. Oh, okay. It sounds cool, huh? We're not going to jump in it, are we? So, <laughs> Rangers will look at the vernal ponds in the park and uh, teach participants about the plant and animal life that rely on these ponds for survival. Now, the event is free and it's open to ages five years and up. Pre-registration is required by Thursday, June 23rd. You can register online for swamp loggers at cabarrascounty.us slash reserve partner. Type the word swamp in the class search box. For more information on swamp loggers, held on Saturday, June 25th at 10 a.m. North Cabarrus Park, just call 704-795-4492 or visit cabarrascounty.us slash parks. So we got the swamps, we got the butterflies, we got sports. Hey, we got it all. And <laughs> dancing, too. Yeah. And at the beach. All kinds of good stuff. Now, enjoy a night of arts, not to be left out. The arts here, okay, with Cabarrus County Arts Council sponsors the Art Walk and a film showing on Friday, June the 24th, and that's in downtown Concord. The Art Walk takes place from 6 p.m. till 9 p.m. throughout downtown Concord and will include visual art displays and live entertainment. Now, afterwards, uh, catch the documentary film Being Diablo at the Davis Theater, and that's at 9 p.m. It's a free screening, and uh, it's part of the Modern Film Fest uh, at Davis Series, and it's sponsored by the Cabarrus County Arts and the Modern Film Fest. Now, the independent film by Rod Murphy uh, chronicles Asheville's Mickey Mahaffey on his quest for a deeper life. Now, his path leads him from being a young preacher to a homeless to being committed to a mental institution to finally dancing with native Indians at the bottom of the remote canyon in Mexico's Sierra Madre. I mean, this guy's had a life, hasn't he? Now, the film has not been rated, and for Modern Film Fest estimates it would probably be a PG-13, but the Arts Council recommends that you check it out, research the film, decide whether it's appropriate for your family or not. For more information on the film showing of Being Diablo on Friday, June the 24th at 9 p.m. at Davis Theater, located at 65 Union Street South in Concord, just call 704-902-2787 or visit CabarrasArtsCouncil.org. You know, what better way to celebrate um, the anniversary of um, the old, courthouse, old courthouse theater than right. to go out to the theater and see a play? There you go. And you can do that um, with the Shakespeare Classic Comedy of Errors. It's going to be held on Thursday, June 16th. And this is going to be presented by the Old Courthouse Theater's Summer Youth Production. Now, the comedy of errors is a zany adventure of long lost identical twins who find each other unexpectedly in the same place at the same time. Now, the nonstop freewheeling free farce is guaranteed to delight all audiences. The play will continue um, from June 16th through June 26th with evening and Sunday afternoon performances. Tickets are $10 for adults, $5 for children, 12 and under. For more information on the Comedy of Errors, um, beginning on Thursday, June 16th at the court, Old Courthouse Theater, that's located at 49 Spring Street in downtown Concord, just call the Old Courthouse Theater at 704-788-2405 or visit oldcourthousetheater.org. Now, you know, our most recent historical moment was about the Reed Gold Mine, mm -hmm. the story of that. So if you've seen that, but, you know, you kind of say, well, that's kind of interesting, all that stuff that went on in, way back then. Well, hey, how would you like to participate in the gold rush now? Mm -hmm. Okay, now Cabarrus County was home for the nation's first gold rush. And, of course, that began when 12-year-old Conrad Reed bumped his toe and found that big rock, you know. And now the folks at North Cabarrus Park want you to relive that excitement at the Cabarrus County Gold Rush event that's held Thursday every is held on the third Saturday every month, so they must have a lot of gold out there. <laughs> now, you'll be able to stake your claims and search for gold. Now, the next event is on Saturday, June 18th. Now, the cost is $3 and open to children from ages 5 to 13. Pre-registration is needed by Friday before the session. Register online at Cabarrus County Gold Rush at cabarruscounty.us slash reserve partner. Type in the word mm -hmm, gold, okay, in the glass search box. For more information on Cabarrus County Gold Rush, Held on Saturday, June 18th from 10 a.m. until 11 a.m. at North Cabarrus Park at 760 Orthodox Road in Kannapolis. Call 704-795-4492 or just visit cabarruscounty.us slash parks. And come on, Darren, look for some gold. Great. Wear a hat and everything. <laughs> no, that's good. Well, if you are a caregiver of an older adult, um, 
you know, it can be very challenging and difficult at times. Um, there is a wonderful um, program available to those caregivers through the Cabarrus County Senior Center. Um, it's a three-day event called Powerful Tools for Caregivers, and it's going to be held Tuesday, June 28th through Thursday, June the 30th. Now, this free caregiver camp is designed for those caring for loved ones ages 60 years old and older, either at home, in a nursing home, or really anywhere across the country. Um, if you have, have an older adult in your life that you're trying to help them navigate through the senior years, this is the place right. to be, um, whether they're living at your home or elsewhere. The camp is coordinated by the Cabarrus County Senior Centers through the Family Caregiver Support Program. Now, caregivers will learn how to reduce stress, communicate effectively with other family members, with doctors, and with uh, paid help. Um, reduce feelings of guilt, anger, and depression, and learn how to um, set goals and problem solve um, with the different issues that these elderly family members face. And it's also an opportunity to learn about um, the huge number of resources and support right. that is available to these families. Now, camp is free and lunch is provided each day. Registration is required by Friday, June 24th by 5 p.m. For more information on the powerful tools for caregivers, um, beginning June 28th through June 30th, that's going to be from 10 a.m. until 3.30 p.m. daily, call the Cabarrus County Senior Center at 704-920-3484. For more information on other Senior Center events, just log on to cabarruscounty.us slash aging. Now, I'll tell you what, you know, I have to admit, I do eat some fast food occasionally. Like what? It, Are I, you I kidding know, me? I know. You know, if I get stuck. Who, who does that? I really? know, really, you know. But did you know that one large fry at one chain, that one fry could have as many as 500 calories? Are you kidding me? Who wrote this? <laughs> Denise, is this right? Okay. Now, teens will learn all about the dangers of junk food temptations. I think, I think that that means like an order of large fries, not okay. just like one fry. Oh, okay. Well, I don't I, think it's possible for one fry to be 500 well, calories. Well, I think that's what like I was. A large order of fries is 500 calories. Oh, okay. Boy, because I was We're going to have to check that out. <laughs> I really don't think that's one fry. That would be a lot of oil. That would be a lot of oil. Well, that's a lot of calories anyway, even if you get a, a big group of fries. Even so, if you dump chili and cheese on it, that's still <laughs> No, that's going to be fry. more than that. Okay. Well, maybe that was what it was. Okay. Now, Teens is going to learn the dangers of junk food, temptations, and make a kind of, you know, healthy nutritional choices. Now, it's a program conducted by Discovery Place, and that's going to be on Monday, June the 20th at Concord Branch at Cabarrus County Public Library. The free program will help rising sixth grader and older teens interpret nutritional labels and analyze the fast food meal to measure its energy and nutritional content. And it's a 55-minute presentation and registration is required. For more information and to register for You Are What You Eat, presented on Monday, June the 20th at 2 p.m., at Concord Branch of the Cabarrus County Public Library at 27 Union Street, North in Concord. Just call 704-920-2050 or visit cabarruscounty.us slash library. Well, after this past weekend, I think I'm going to turn into a hamburger, so I look like one. Okay. Lots of cookouts. Lots of cookouts, yes. Yeah, graduation. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> well, um, I can't think of a better way to... Um, get away from the oppressive heat than to escape to see a movie. <laughs> and uh, you can do that um, with a free movie. Um, uh, there's going to be movie nights with the Kannapolis Branch Cabarrus County Public Library um, again on Tuesday, June 21st. Now during the summer, the Kannapolis Branch of the Cabarrus County Public Library is going to host um, movies on the big screen um, there at the library. This week's movie um, is going to be Finding Nemo on Tuesday, June 21st. Everyone is invited, but the library asks that children under 13 years old be accompanied by adults. So please don't just drop your kid off at the library um, for several hours of this movie. Now there is limited seating and it is on a first come first seated basis. For more information about a movie night at the library, which is on Tuesday, June 21st at 5 p.m. Kannapolis Branch of Cabarrus County Public Library. Um, just call 704-920-1180 or visit cabarruscounty.us slash library. Well, you wouldn't want to just drop off your kid because you'd miss the movie. That's, that's, Finding that, Nemo. that's too good of a movie. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs>
Now, the public had a chance to view the new Cabarrus County Jail at the ribbon cutting ceremony last week. Now, the new jail will officially open during the week of June the 20th, as that's when inmates will begin uh, being committed to the new facility. And the facility has 569 inmates' beds. Total capacity reaches 665 with the inclusion of beds at the jail annex next door. Now, with the opening of the new Cabarrus County Detention Center, all inmate visitations will be conducted through video visitation, and visitations also may be scheduled via computer kiosk, and that's in the lobby of the Cabarrus County Sheriff's Office. And you can stop at those uh, at the office at these times, Monday, 8 a.m. until 5 p.m., and Tuesday through Saturday, 8 a.m. until 9 p.m. Now, inmate visitation will follow the schedule of Tuesday through Saturday, 9 a.m. to 9 p.m., with at least 24-hour scheduled notice before the visits. Video visitation may be scheduled through the Internet via http visitation.cabarrislaw.us slash app. Right. Well, we had a ton, ton oh. of information there on the show today. So many great things going Covered on. Covered it all. In Cabarrus County. Um, if you missed anything, you can always go to our website at cabarruscounty.us. Um, Click on the search box at the top right of any page. Type in your search term. Um, there you'll find lots of great information. Um, but if you need any more details, you can always drop us a line at channel22 at cabarruscounty.us. Of course, one of the best ways to get all the information we talk about on Cabarrus this week is to sign up for our email newsletter. You also can do that online, cabarruscounty.us. Um, click on the newsletter sign up link, which is at the top right of any page. Put in your email address, you'll be set to go. You'll be getting that in your email box um, each week with everything we talk about on the show, with right. all the phone numbers and dates and times and web addresses right there at your fingertips. Um, so sign up for that and uh, start planning your fun summer oh, here absolutely. in Cabarrus County. And if you have family and friends that don't have Time Warner Cable, can't watch us on Channel 22, then, uh, or if you just want to watch our programs on demand, just go to cabarruscounty.us right there on the homepage. Just kind of scroll on down a little bit over there on the left. You'll see a video box, and right below it, it says more Channel 2, Channel 22 programming. You can just punch on that button, and boom, up comes this big screen with all the different d types of shows that we have. And you can watch them on demand, and uh, it's a whole lot of fun. And I'll tell you what, speaking of fun, you got to come on out here, check out some of, some of these photos are cool, the costumes are great, you know, and then uh, check out a play, which would be really pretty cool. Absolutely, and you might be surprised. There's tons of photo albums here, so I love right. just looking through them. Um, I know a lot of the faces in some of these photos, um, so it's, it's really cool to look through, um, see the whole history of the um, old courthouse theater, as well as the wonderful, wonderful tribute to Mary Sneepo. Right. Um, just, it's just a really great exhibit here. So come out to the Concord Museum, um, right here, kind of tucked away in downtown Concord. Um, you don't want to miss this and enjoy all these different things going on in Cabarrus County. Until next week, you have a great one. See you later.